So we're going to have a try at uh, Challenge Lock pinned up by Tech Matt. I guess it's his number 12. Um, we do have the key, of course. Fits in and turns quite nicely. It does catch up a little bit, though. Um, we're going to try and use non pin side tension. Uh, it's not necessarily my favourite way of doing things. Um, but hopefully, it's going to work for us. We had a little click off number five. Let's massage a little bit pin number four. Pin number three gave us a click as well. Nothing on pin number two. Coming to the back of the lock. Hmm. A little bit of movement of the core there. And pin number three. It still feels like my binders are at the back. set and the lock is open lovely all right so let's get this out let's turn this all the way around okay that's fine let's have a look and see what was inside um screwdriver still haven't arrived. <laughs> We're waiting on an order of, from Sparrows for a while, so I still have to be very unorthodox. I'm sorry about this. I know some of you don't like this when I do this. Uh, using a, a Euro pinning shoe on something which isn't a Euro. Sorry guys. Um, Put that down there, get our pinning tray in position, and have a look. Oh, I've just rolled the plug over. Why do I always do that? It's like the third time I've done that on this channel. It's okay, we didn't lose any order. I really guess I should invest in one of those big mats, right? Alright, let's have a look then. Wow, not quite sure what's going on here. Oh. So we've got some kind of pin in pin combination or a spool that looks broken or something in pin num in slot number one. That would be a shame, I hope it isn't broken. This is the first time I've looked inside this lock. Alright. The, the springs are all different, of course. Makes for a nice challenge lock. I really do think that looks broken, unfortunately. Um, oh no. Let's have a look and see what we've got then, shall we? How much further can we get before we lose focus? Let me just move that out of the way, so... I think that looks like a very thin spool which has snapped at the bottom. Maybe that explains why it was so easy to open. And then pin number two 
some really funky T-pin. Pin number three. It's nicely serrated. Number four is a fantastic looking spool type. And number five, multiple serrated. this now. So I guess it's a spool rip and the end just snapped off. Damn, I don't think it happened while I was picking it. I certainly wasn't rough with it. Keep in number one, nice overset trap. Keep in number two, nice serrations. Keep in number three, well that's cheeky. Pin number three is kind of beveled down to a kind of a T-pin end. Number four, nice serration. And number five, wow, it's kind of a spool train wheel type spool tip, uh, key pin, amazing. Let's have a look, Let's see if there's any funkiness going on here. Oh yes, there is. You can see some serrations. Maybe it's an undercutting, maybe. And in the body itself, uh, well, we can't really get it, we can't really have a seat into there. I would imagine that that is stock. So, it looks like we have a broken spool. I've never seen a broken spool before. It looks like we've got a broken spool in number one. I would like to apologise to Mr. Turk Matt if you ever get round to watching this video. Um, I have a broken spool of yours, my friend. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Um, I would put out an appeal if somebody is listening. I'd like to have another one of these locks, sir, uh, Mr. Tugmat. I'd like to have another pick of that. And uh, I'm going to replace that spool, maybe, with a commercial while I'm waiting for a better solution. All right, so thanks very much, everybody. Uh, see you soon. That was our Turk Mat number 12, 17, broken spooled challenge lock. Bye bye.